saw this thing, you know, you might have seen it. It was an independent film I just saw it recently. It's called The Dark Knight. Anybody <laughs> see The Dark Knight? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Nobody? Really? Yeah, the first movie to finally break the Titanic's record. Finally. I don't think the other Caprio saw that one coming. He certainly didn't see the iceberg coming. <laughs> and I just have a problem with Batman, you know, the way he speaks. You know, it kind of reminded me of Napoleon Dynamite. If he had rabies, he's like, where are they? I'm like, what? Hello? I don't, I think he wants to answer your question. He just doesn't understand what you're saying. And he's like, this is, I swear to God, swear on me! you're trying to say. I don't understand. And the Joker was he eating peanut butter the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> so part of the plan. If I could just get some jelly. I could make a sandwich. <laughs> yes. Here we go. <laughs> So yeah, I got a little issue with Batman because he doesn't like what the Joker does, which is senselessly kill people. However, the Batman seems to have a problem with senseless destruction of property. He has no, no idea what he's doing to people. For example, in Dark Knight, for those of you who have seen it, he blows up parked cars. These aren't villains' cars. They're just people's cars. They're just there. They were in my way. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> the, 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 the gangsters are all in their little parking ramp thing. They just burst through there. That's not their parking ramp. They don't own that. This is a gangster parking ramp. This, you know, there's a way up, obviously. <laughs> financially viable. <laughs> you know, it's like, well, Batman blew up my car. Why? It was in the way. Really? So, uh, what's the Joker done for you recently?